Welcome back everybody, thank you for watching another video. Today we're going to be having a look at this fantastic front folding knife from Civivi, the X-Arch. And as always guys, if at the ending of the video you feel like the Civivi X-Arch is for you, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Alright, here is our normal weight reference deck of cards coming in at 3.4 ounces. Civivi X Arch coming in at 2.5, 2.6 ounces. Ooh, light. Let's get going with our size references here. So there is a standard size Sharpie. Turn it sideways. Give you a look this way. See if I can get that to settle down here. All right, let's have a look here at the top of the knife here. A pair of chopsticks. Just a tad thinner than the grippy side of a pair of chopsticks. This is the eating side. That's the holding side there. So it just looks like it's a little bit thinner. Turn it over scale-wise. Man, that might be... That might be... There's the Sharpie. Let me turn it the right side up here. Just a little bit thicker width-wise than a Sharpie. All right, let's get a size reference with the blade open. There we go. All right, let's check out the thickness of the spine here. That looks like it's definitely thicker than one quarter for sure. Ah, maybe two. And maybe we got two quarters thick on there. Yeah, definitely about two quarters thick there. Let's see if I can get that more evenly stacked. Yeah, definitely about two quarters there. Comes down to a real fine point. Look at that. Shit, that's probably about a dime, if anything. Yeah, thinner than a dime. Look at that. It's crazy. Pointy. All right, let me read you the Civivi description of the X-Arch. It says, the Civivi X-Arch is a gentleman's folder of epic proportion. It's got a slim, symmetrical design with a smooth front flipping action running on cage bearings. Uh, the handle has contours to make a broomstick-like grip that facilitates just about any grip imaginable, which I would agree on. This has a pretty broom-like, broomstick-like quality. Now, the reason I brought this in is I had no idea there was such a thing as a front flipping knife. So this is a fairly new thing, and it's a little bit harder to open because you really got to watch where you grip. The first thing you got to watch is that you have clearance for this thumb stud to flip out this way, so you can't grip it up here. You got to kind of get down on it a little bit and then you got to watch where your fingers are because if you're blocking it here or you're blocking it here it's not going to open all the way so i'm going to kind of get way up here way down here try to open it for you there you go nice smooth cage bearing action beautiful drop point blade made of d2 steel we have a hollow grind right in here satin finish well executed that's a little bit of a choil down there. I wouldn't consider that a finger choil. It's so tiny, maybe a sharpening choil. But, I mean, if you needed to, you can sneak up here. But you couldn't get your full finger in there because it'll definitely overlap where the bottom of the blade is. But it makes sharpening a lot easier. The jimping on the blade or the top of the spine is almost non-existent because it sits so flush with the frame. But that's a beautiful drop point blade. Let's have a closer look at these G10 scales here. Texture, definitely not too aggressive. I'm going to tip it sideways. You can see how rough it is. Not very rough. This, after all, is a gentleman's knife. Uh, nice bevels here on the edges to conform to your hand. Like it says, like a broomstick grip. So nicely done scales. All right, let's have a look at the top end of the knife here. Love the way they have matching G10 backspacers. Got a little lanyard hole in the back. Again, this comes in a number of different colors and blade qualities. I like this gray, though. Pocket clip real deep. When you get into your pocket, it's going to sit all the way up here. I love the way it's skeletonized and that there's no paint on it. It is reversible to the other side, and it is tip-up carry. All right, let's have a look inside of the grip here. We can see the stainless steel liners. They have been skeletonized. You can see the cutouts in there. Saves a little bit of weight there. And this is a liner lock. Here's a look at the pivot point. Blacked out screw. Okay, and I see only one other screw on here also stainless and a torque screw so for those that like to service their own knives and clean out the bearing system you can totally do that 
And as far as comfort goes, I guess they're right. It is very broomstick-like in the fact that there really is no contouring. There's a little bit of a cutout on here, but that's really not for your fingers. It's to get to the release mechanism for the liner lock. But I guess they're right. It can accommodate just about any different grip and feel exactly the same because there's no curves in it. All right, final thoughts on the Civivi X-Arch. I really like this front flipper action. It's a little bit different. I was annoyed at first because I had to figure out how to flip that blade open. But once you figure it out, once you get some practice in, it's really fun. So if you're looking for something a little bit different, check out this front flipping folder from Civivi. Again, this is the X-Arch. They come in a lot of different colors. Should be right about $55 to $60. If you want to pick one of these up, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Guys, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.